Good evening. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you tonight because we have a budget to pass. And you can't run governments without budgets. But you can run the world without crude oil. I heard um, that you heard earlier tonight a beautiful rendition of What a Wonderful World. You're helping make a wonderful, wonderful world without crude oil. So I want to begin by thanking Dorothy and Len Sank. They're here on behalf of the wonderful Eric and Sheila Sampson, who are generously providing many of the funds to make this a reality. I want to thank Eyal Rosner for a job well done, to wish him well. And I want to thank Moody Zonberg and all of my other friends who are there tonight, all of you, because, ladies and gentlemen, we are changing the world. We stand at the cusp of an energy revolution. The monopoly of crude oil will end. And as a result, we'll have a safer, cleaner, more sustainable world. The Fuel Choices Summit celebrates visionary th thinkers who are working to make this dream a reality. And today, we congratulate two of them. Professor Kanatsidis and Professor Stepanopoulos, they've done outstanding work in metabolic engineering and designing nanostructured thermoelectric materials. Now that's a mindful. It's not only a mouthful, it's mindful. Great minds. And these people are true pioneers. Six years ago when uh, we created the Fuel Choices Initiative, we had a vision of developing clean and efficient alternatives to oil. And since then, Israel has become a global leader in this field. I'm proud that the first ever vehicles to run on methanol were developed right here in Israel. And today, vast sums are invested in hundreds of smart mobility startups in Israel. Our vision is becoming a reality thanks to the brilliant scientists honored tonight and thanks to all of you who are here to support them. Israel will continue to innovate and will continue to create cutting edge technology to make the world a better place. This focus is one of the secrets to our success. Crude oil, which makes the world less safe, less sustainable, less clean, less beautiful, crude oil will be rendered obsolete. I have great confidence that Israel and all of you gathered here tonight will help make that a reality. And I want to thank you for doing this year after year. Congratulations.